Beauty, I have to say, this dark cave is doing wonders for your complexion. Really? It's so nice of you to notice. Thank you, Brad. You're welcome, Judy. In this light, I can barely see your multitude of wrinkles and your mouth full of decaying teeth. Huh? That's it, Bradley. You two are behaving like children. The cursed treasure is tearing us apart. I wish Cassidy were here to see you all go to pieces. Oh, Ricky, you always lacked a stomach for greatness. Forward, Marcia! They're on the move. Lex, can we do, old pal? This is it. The last hamburger. We've already eaten all of our snacks. I was saving this for an emergency. This is an emergency. That's the last hamburger. Looks like we're roughing it from here, Raggy. Beautiful. The außergewöhnliche Schönheit. I'm sorry to ask, Professor Pericles, but what are we waiting for? The Kinder. I know they're out there, following us. Give them a minute. They will soon understand their part in all this. But they must hurry. The planets are nearly in full alignment. The time of Nibio is almost at hand. Lighting those crazy symbols on those gigantic stores. <laughs> The dream world. The what world? The dream world. The keys. Everything we saw. It finally makes sense. Professor Karen did say that the dream world would show us what we needed to find. And it showed each of us the keys. And what they were for. The fourth key is the element of air. The third key is the element of earth. The second key is the element of water. And the first key is the element of fire. Each one of the four keys opens a gate leading down. That first gate is covered with alchemy symbols for air. But if that's the first gate, why is it attached to the fourth key? Because it's in reverse. 